New research has now explored how sleep, oxygen levels, and exercise affect our ability to perform mental tasks. Sleep is fundamental to our health, and it is recommended that adults get between 7 and 9 hours sleep a night. However, recent reviews indicate that 40% of the global population doesn't get enough. The negative consequences of chronic sleep deprivation include cardiovascular disease, obesity, neurodegenerative disorders, and depression. In the short term, a lack of sleep can reduce cognitive performance, which takes a toll on your attention span, judgment, and emotional state. A study, led by the University of Portsmouth, has found that cognitive performance improves during a bout of moderate intensity exercise, regardless of a person's sleep status or oxygen levels. Dr. Joe Costello, from the university's School of Sport, Health and Exercise Science said, We know from existing research that exercise improves or maintains our cognitive performance, even when oxygen levels are reduced. But this is the first study to suggest it also improves cognitive performance after both full and partial sleep deprivation, and when combined with hypoxia. He went on to say, these new findings significantly add to what we know about the relationship between exercise and these stressors, and help to reinforce the message that movement is medicine for the body and the brain. The study, published in Physiology and Behavior, involved two experiments, each with 12 participants, 24 in total. The first looked at the impact of partial sleep deprivation on a person's cognitive performance, and the second examined the impact of total sleep deprivation and hypoxia. In both, all participants experienced an improvement in cognitive performance after a 20-minute cycling session. Dr. Costello added, because we were looking at exercise as a positive intervention, we decided to use a moderate-intensity program as recommended in existing literature. He noted that, if the exercise was any longer, or harder, it may have amplified the negative results and then become a stressor itself. In the first experiment, individuals were only allowed five hours of sleep a night, this took place over three days. Each morning they would be given seven tasks to perform at rest, and then, while cycling. They were also asked to rate their sleepiness and mood before completing the tasks. The results showed the effects of three nights of partial sleep on executive functions were inconsistent. The paper says an explanation for this could be that some people are more resilient to a mild or moderate sleep deficit. However, regardless of sleep status, moderate intensity exercise improved performance across all the tasks. In the second experiment, participants went an entire night without sleep and were then put in a hypoxic environment at the university's extreme environment labs. Despite oxygen levels being lowered, exercise continued to improve cognitive performance. Co-lead author, Dr. Thomas Williams from the university's Extreme Environments Research Group stated, sleep deprivation is often experienced in combination with other stressors. For example, people who travel to high altitudes are also likely to experience a disruption to their sleep patterns. He went on to say that one potential hypothesis for why exercise improves cognitive performance is related to the increase in cerebral blood flow and oxygenation, however, our findings suggest that even when exercise is performed in an environment with low levels of oxygen, participants were still able to perform cognitive tasks better than when at rest in the same conditions. The paper's explanations for why cognitive performance improves during exercise are twofold. Firstly. Even when a person is sleep-deprived and low on oxygen, this could just be down to changes to the amount of brain-regulating hormones. It could also be psychophysiological factors, factors such as cerebral blood flow, arousal, and motivation. The researchers suggest that cognitive performance is not solely dependent upon the prefrontal cortex area of the brain, despite it playing an integral role in the performance of tasks. Co-lead author, Juan Ignacio Badariotti from the university's Department of Psychology stated, the prefrontal cortex is highly sensitive to its neurochemical environment and is highly susceptible to stress. It regulates our thoughts, actions, and emotions and is considered to be the primary part of the brain associated with executive functions. He went on to say, but our findings suggest the mechanisms behind cognitive performance may not be isolated to this area, and instead we should consider it being the product of a series of coordinated processes widely distributed across different cortical and subcortical regions. The researchers recommend further investigation to reveal what neurobiological mechanisms are behind the cognitive function process. This discovery would support anyone who experiences broken sleep or low oxygen, including climbers and skiers, 
but also parents of young children and especially shift workers. The authors also recognize only healthy, young people were included in this study, and several individuals were withdrawn due to adverse events. They hope to carry out further investigation, in the near future, that looks into the relationship between cognitive performance and stressors.